Good morning, Panthers. Good morning, SMS. Good morning, SMS. Good morning. Good morning, family. Have a great day. Good morning, y'all. Good morning, SMS. Good morning, family. I'm Denim. Hey, Panthers. I'm Abigail. Today is Tuesday, March 26th. Today is the A day. Today's one block time is B day, third block. Please stand and join me for the Pledge of Allegiance. Please remain standing for the moment of silence. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. The forecast for today is mostly cloudy with a high temperature of 54 degrees. There is no chance of rain today. Happy birthday, Sierra Gibson. According to National Today, today is National American Diabetes Alert Day. American Diabetes Alert Day is observed annually on the fourth Tuesday of March and, and this year it falls on March 26th. It is aimed at raising awareness about the risks and symptoms associated with diabetes among the American public. The holiday is sponsored by the American Diabetes Association. The March Bingo and Comedy Wildlife Forms are due Friday. Remember, charge your computers every night. Remember, remember make, sure, make sure you aren't wearing any AirPods or headphones in the hallway. Another reminder, do not use the cafeteria hallways to go to class. Use the main hallways only. The jazz band will be meeting today after school. The Robotics and Manufacturing Club will meet tomorrow after school. The Teens for Christ Club will meet Thursday at 7 at 7.10. Eighth grade will take the integrated reading and writing as so well today. Good luck and do your best. There is a fundraiser at Q Daddy's in Spinfield tomorrow night. From 5 to 8, come and support our school. Our semi finalist book madness contestants are Hunger Games and Percy Jackson. Go Hunger Games. Go Percy Jackson. This week we will decide the winning book. Votes are due Thursday at 2, and the winner will be announced Friday. Yearbooks are on sale, $35, and order are due April 15th. Be sure to stop by the library for a semester round of Jurassic Park gate voting. Voting ends April 19th. Keep up your attendance to participate in the Spring Fling event is this Friday. Teachers, please send your middle school photos to Ms. Hamrick by Friday. Who do you want to see, Abby? Yeah? Mr. Gold. Same. Today's Panther Spotlight is Isaac Smith. Mr. Rice nominated him for his near perfect 98 in history class. Isaac is an amazing student. He never shrugged off, shrugs off a challenge, and is always looking for ex looking to go the extra mile. Everyone needs Isaac. Way to go. Let's see what the cafeteria will be serving for lunch today. Today we will continue to recognize Women's History Month. Let's learn about the pioneer Frank Kahlo. Frida Kahlo was a Mexican artist who became famous for her self-portraits 
that were strongly influenced by her Mexican culture. Frida was born near Mexico City on July 6, 1907, and grew up with her parents and six sisters. At age six, Frida contracted a disease called polio, which damaged her right leg and meant she couldn't leave her bed for nine months. So instead of playing with her sisters, she spent most of her time alone. Despite her childhood love of drawing, Frida Kahlo didn't always want to be an artist. She wanted to become a doctor. But in 1925, she was in a terrible bus accident that meant she was unable to walk for three months and she began to paint from her hospital bed. Painting helped her pass the time and to express the pain that she was feeling. Frida wanted to know if she was talented enough to become a professional painter. So she approached artist Diego Rivera for an opinion on her work. The two artists eventually got married in 1929. They both continued to paint and became very successful artists. In 1931, Diego was asked to paint a mural in San Francisco. So Frida and Diego moved to America. They lived there for three years. Diego wanted to stay, but Frida was very homesick and unhappy. So they soon moved back to live in Mexico. Her unhappiness in her life in America can be seen in her paintings. Frida Kahlo is most famous for her many self-portraits. She used her art to express her emotions in various moments of her life and to reflect the lifelong pain she felt after her accident. She was very proud of her Mexican heritage and this is also shown in her paintings, which feature bright colors, dramatic symbols, and traditional Mexican clothing. Frida Kahlo died in 1954 when she was 47 years old. She is remembered as a strong woman who used her art to overcome her circumstances and to accomplish great things despite her struggles. And she inspires artists to this day to express their emotions through their art. And that's the Panther Report for today. Please recite the school essentials with me. Today we will walk the Panther way. We will show kindness, earn respect, take responsibility, be a service, and work as a team. Have a gay, has a, have an awesome day, family. And don't forget to walk the Panther way every day. Bye, have a great week.